it's cold. Oh, yeah. It's a cold day. A good day for video games. What, what? It's Reno V. It's coming to you. Still trying to figure out, uh, going on here. Oh shit, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, there we go. I wonder how long this goes for. Wow. We got 198 tickets for that. Not bad, if I say so myself, which, for the record, I totally do. Wackakami token dispenser. Also Wackakami. There's a Kami Whacker. game sucks. Or I suck at that game. I don't understand how this one's supposed to work. Like, unless, is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm not going to do that. Just so we're clear. God, that thing is fucking terrifying. Well, 
Let's see what the prizes are. Okay, let's not see what the prizes are. <laughs> wow. Things are getting a little crazy here. Welcome to the Nuka Cola, Moni McBlack Snake. Big ones. Pack of stuff. What is a packed stuffed left leg? What is a packed stuffed left leg? I don't. That's weird. Wow. garbage here. I don't mind saying. None of this is wowing me, though. A pack stuffed left leg. I'm curious of what that is. Oh, well, it took my tickets, I guess. Ah, I thought he had these all fixed and working, huh? Apparently that is not a hundred percent accurate. What the hell is Starcore? Neither of those look like Starcore. Starcore! I will take that calculator. Can't leave that phone though. For now, anyway. Right. I'm not worried, sir. I'm out, though. Alright, so that's the arcade. So. Not that interesting. And the price is not that good. I'm kind of bummed out. I mean, I'm kind of curious about that leg, but not enough to play all those games. So was, those weren't very much fun. I'm sleepy. All right, cool. Huh. 
Huh. Wonder if this water is radioactive. Just McCready. Scared me, McCready. Well, that's something I'm indifferent to. So I don't get it. I'm looking for Cappy. said something about Cappy looking at the fountain standing in the shadow of the something looking at the fountain I don't know I'll have to look look it up again because I've seemed to have forgotten what exactly the clue was Oh yeah, any opportunity to, damn, pop a lock. Somebody out there just chilling. Ooh, an ice cream parlor that still looks unopened. Damn. I know it's post apocalyptic, but I could show go for some ice cream. What you talking about? Life a bitch. Ugh, McCready, why are you doing this? Oh, he's funny. He's a, he's a funny guy. I want you to concentrate less on being the funny guy and more on 
taking whatever garbage I decide to give you. Mostly I'm just stealing ammo though. There's the mountain. They said at the foot of the mountain, so I'm guessing somewhere around here is the top grill. And a button to go up to the top, which I will Out of the way, disciple. Guys, just gonna keep talking. That's crazy, because I have, like, only one rule around here. Don't listen to you and your stupid rules. You got the you found something good for you fizz top mountain music on the big top candy mountain you'll be watching yourselves so I should watch myself got it it's fizz top mountain not the grill so Fist Top Mountain and the Grill are two separate places. And there's also an elevator going up too. Ah, curiouser and curiouser. I see that looks like it goes into the parking lot, I think. Anyway, I'm not gonna go out that way yet, that's for sure. I'm gonna finish this circumference. Cause I still have a <laughs> Oh my god, I get it. They're boring. I thanks for the story. Love a good story. Uh, okay, so that's just a wall. Like that. I oh, know, is that the way I came in?
Yeah. Alright, cool. So... Go ahead and drop a quick save and see if this water is poisonous. Nothing going on over here. This place looks like ass. That sounds like a very true statement uh, in your eyes. I feel like I'll need it. But I don't know why I have it. Alright, so it's, here's the bottom of the mountain. He's enjoying a view of the fountain. So let's find the. F get back to the fountain. My god, what the fuck? Uh. Alright, so there's the fountain. So... The mountain's here. The fountain's here. So I would think you'd have to be around here somewhere, right? This is the base of the fountain.
You're boring as hell. See, I've got to assume this is the fucking fountain. If he's at the base of the mountain with the view of the fountain, then... Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I'm gonna be real careful. Apparently, I, uh, my predecessor is quite the little, uh, workaholic. Damn park map pamphlets. Press the hell out of me. I keep thinking I've got a, uh, a magazine, and it's just a park pamphlet. Not a magazine. Dig it? Got a lot of fucking alcohol. Shame I don't have the perk that makes that super useful. Where's this go? Fizz Top Grill. So I could have gotten there via the Fizz Top Grill as well as from this route. It's good to know. Let's talk, Gabe. Welcome home, boss. The days are yours now. Hope you like the look of the place now. Big estate. But this is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control. Awesome. Maybe you like the sound of that. I saw it. Look, I'll be honest. This operation needs to step in and take the lead. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading out right on my side. And there's already some blaming me for supporting COVID. <laughs> my talents are best with the new help than you, Uncle Boss, with all this shit under control. Yeah, I get you. What sort of talents would you say you have, Dave? Aside from being a good shot, having a foul mouth. I've run the game nearly my whole life. I know how to work the place, what you're after. And I use that to your advantage. Trust me, I'm in this just as much as you. This shit needs to work out. I hear you, Dave. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at this all at once. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuclear world. Got here. About a year ago, we pushed in through this front gate. Take 
take over me. Or he would say this one way or that one. And then, well, folks had got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. His father came into the episode when he was taking over the park. The gang had got restless. Started pissing each other off. What kind of mess am I walking into here? It was little. Some stumbles, arguments, the occasional feelings. Got worse over time, but... Always does. ...staking out as much territory as he could. All being cops, I guess. Started looking for excuses. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these guys. I've been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you. Okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gang behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to talk. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I could go about it? Yeah, I'm all right. The disciples might follow you. The bloodiest, the best. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in mostly for the money. They get promised cash. They'll listen to you. Easy enough. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new agent, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the lead. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. From what I hear, you got a head start on things already. So talk with them. Screw things over. You're good. I'll be here if you need me. Anything you can do for me? Raiders all the time. Question that it's a good location. Yeah, Sabre started making good hubs, pulling in bio small rounds. I think Rest that too. It makes a good central location for sending gangs out. So we've got Lucas on our hands. Most of the traders work for us in the Ain't happening with this one for sure. He really needs the rest of these parts set up. Every one of them not under our control is a threat. Then the gangs are too cramped up. Checking all over. 
if they get room to spread out, it's going to be bloody. So the sooner you get them all to agree to follow orders, the sooner we can be through by the way. You, uh, got any more questions? Aren't you raiders ever saying, hey, come on now? <sighs> well, maybe you shouldn't call them raiders then, because. Tell me more about the gang. Yeah, they big. Yeah, quite the assorted bunch. Yeah. All used to hate each other. Yeah. Maybe they still do. Yeah. Took a shitload of work to get them all on board with this idea. I really don't want to lose them. If I were you, I'd start with a disciple. They might all be crazy. Mitchell has a reasonable moment. Then you've got the option. Spoil, rich kid. It doesn't mean you ain't weak as killer. If you can impress Matt, he'll listen to you. And then there's the pack. I'm not saying the sad is but you know, no thanks. I don't know how most of you come on over. Up to you who you want to trust the most. But you may need to trust me some. You need anything else? Nah. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Let's go to the grill. Walter's Terminal, that'll be good to look at in a minute. Elevator. Tell ya. Post-apocalyptic world, the only thing you can count on is that someone's going to set mannequins up in some weird positions. It's like, what is up with that?
All right, let's see what Coulter's got going on here. Make fun of Mason. Check on power account caps. Park. Okay, that's a small job to do. Should keep him busy for a while, but we really need to get a plan together. Set up a to-do list on your terminal, like you asked for. Still not sure why you need it. Shit around here is real simple. Three months, no progress. This don't look good for you or for me. They're scared of you still, like they should be. So you ain't hearing the talk. I'm telling you, the gangs want some action. You need to stop screwing around. Sit down with me, okay? You deleted my last message, didn't you? Glad we had a chance to talk. I was able to smooth things over with the gangs and let them know you got a plan. And you gotta make sure you tell everyone. Hold a big meeting. Pull everybody that ain't on guard duty. Show off. These guys are suckers for that shit. Coulter, man, what the hell? I came and find you. Where the hell have you been? What's this gauntlet thing the disciples are working on? I don't care how excited they are. This wasn't the plan. We didn't spend half a goddamn year here just to waste our time on this shit. I can't keep covering for your ass. The gang's already bored of this gauntlet of yours. New business ain't coming in and we're not doing shit to expand. Guys can't even set foot in most of the parks without getting killed. No one's got a word in with you because you're always tinkering with your goddamn power armor. The gangs have all been demanding to see you. I finally got them all to agree to a meeting, which I will have to hold because your ass isn't around. Hey boss, work things out with the gangs, they'll be just fine. He just says they've improved the gauntlet again. Sounds like it should be real interesting. Hope we get a real good show of it. Have fun, boss. <laughs> oh, you traitor scuzz buckets. money to be made here, but I'm not. Super interested in it. As first things first, I gotta go meet the, uh, <sighs> meet the other gang leaders, at least see who I'm dealing with. Well, met pack leader, he was easy, I just stumbled across him by accident. They seem like the best dressed. <sighs> so, you know, if we're just basing it on outfits, then we have a winner. Don't need that right now. Collar Salmoner. Retrieve by Ram Finch's sword. Yeah, there we go. Twink. Yeah, we'll do.
get fixed. Alright, none of you guys are helping me. Wow. Nisha. Spicy. You didn't have the guts. Nisha. Nice! I got ballsy! <laughs> Cool. Oh yeah, and you guys have made it a f just a joy to be around. Hey. I'd get you out if I could, man. It doesn't appear to be one of my options.
I don't know who's running that radio program, but oh my god, if I can find them and murder them, it's going to be great. If you, can't read this, if you can't read this, you're an asshole. All announcements posted by Nisha to spread the rule. Just a reminder, we have one here at Nuka World. Kill someone from another gang, don't get caught. If I see evidence of anyone here violating this rule, I'll take care of you personally. So we just got ourselves a new overboss. Our one rule still applies. Anyone have a problem, they can take it up with me. Kick an ass, don't hog all the fun, the more the merrier. Night Raid, who's in? Anyone interested in a night raid? Meet up at the bottom rail station at midnight. Anyone bored of shit can meet up the main gates at dusk. Heard there's a caravan passing nearby. Gonna find some live ones to run the gauntlet. Whatever supplies they got are just icing on the cake. Got a hankering for blood? Need to kick back and let loose? Dixie's monthly slice and dice is back. So sharpen those knives and ditch those chems. Cause it's time to feed the one addiction that we all share. I am hanging out with some shitty folks. Whoever pissed in my helmet, you're dead. That's some real pack level shit right there. That's a little surprise for you in the usual spot. Thought you could put to good use against a certain asshole. Gotta head out, take care of some business. We'll be back in a few days. Figured you wouldn't want to wait. Some upgrade my knife because I don't know jack about metal. I can repay and trade caps, whatever. Hit me up if you're down. Jokers need to respond. Don't trust Ruby. She's a backstabbing bitch that needs to be dealt with. I caught her stealing caps from my personal stash. She had the balls to deny it. Luckily, she can't read, so she doesn't know what she has coming. She doesn't deserve to be one of us. Alright. Let's look around, see what's going down. Call it quartz. Man, you guys are damn freaks. Everybody is such such freaks around this joint. I am not a raider. I don't have. Hi there. Getting ready to chop up somebody? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I can't wait to be a part of this joyous occasion. Sorry, I was actually just trying to shut the radio off. What, McCready? Ugh, don't like the decor? Whatever else happens, at least I'm getting plenty of ammo. Which apparently I'm gonna need to clear out the rest of these locales. See how I'm just continuing to walk and ignore you? It's because I don't care what you have to say. Ah, oh, Dixie. My knife is extremely sharp.
I love these souvenirs. They're so sexy. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think I'm going to have to kill all of these raiders. These guys are pretty monstrous. Alright, that's it. These guys are getting murdered. I don't know what group I'm going to stick with or if I'm even going to stick with a group or anything like that, but these fucking guys are gross and crazy. Like, seriously, how you sleep in a house like this? It's just gross. Too many blood packs, laundered green dresses. I don't want to. Crap in a hat. McCready, I'm glad you are a man who is, uh. used to run with the gunners, because. shit. Things are a little nuts out here. Or a, like, what are you, what could you possibly be doing, you goddamn psychopath? Alright, whatever. Let's go ahead and do some, uh, P-R-O-T-E-C-T-S, nope. S-O-N-E-R Shit. I screwed that up. Take two. R-E-S-U-L-T-E-D There we go. Nice. Reminder to self, there are no warnings here. Anyone who violates the rule or betrays the disciple deserves worse than death. Ruby! 
Rumors are saying Ruby's stealing from her own. Not sure what pisses me off more, that she's stealing from us or that she got caught. Either way, I don't have any proof besides Paige's claim. And Paige is probably too high on Jet to trust. Going to let this sit for now and see how it goes. Josie and the pussy cats. So I found the remains of what looks like Josie's handiwork. And one rule here, people, why is it so damn hard to follow? When you hide a body, not only do you make sure it's hidden, you make sure it's really dead. Savoy said the pack guy was halfway back to Nuka Town when he found him. No solid proof that was Josie, besides the fact that she and this guy got into it the other day. Samuel seems to forget he's in charge here and likes to question my decisions. He's smart enough to not challenge me directly. I'm sure he knows if he tried to take me out, Subway and Dixie would never follow him. He's trouble, though. Reminds me of Sledge, and he's new, so he doesn't know what went down back then. If he keeps it up, he can learn the hard way, just like Sledge did. Watch for a different reason. Curry has a bit of a conscience. Stop going on raids, barely leaves fist top. Something's up with her. She's either realized this isn't life for her, or she's been compromised. And if I find out she's turned traitor, I'm going to enjoy every moment I have tearing her apart. Town remains. Remains the old abandoned town south of Nuka World called Brad Burton. Should be good for standard supplies, but nothing of real interest. We said some crazies calling themselves herbologists taking over the old cafe by the giant fire hydrant. Gotta admit, I'm inclined to lead them be. Fanatics are always destruct destructive in their own way. They could be good entertainment from a distance. Dixie found an old roadside attraction called the Grandchester Mystery Mansion. So it looks to be in decent condition, complete with an annoying ticket-taking protectatron, so it's worth looking into. She had a few slaves in tow, so didn't investigate further. We'll need to put a team together to check it out at some point. Well, that's a little information I don't mind having. Hardly worth looking at this horrible, disgusting view, but... We do what we do. Oh, I can't jump high enough to get up there. It's alright. I've seen enough. I don't know who I want to be a team with, but it's not you guys. You guys are freaking monsters. So I guess I, it's either the pack or the snooty guys that are just in it for caps. I'm kind of currently leaning towards snooty guys that are just in it for caps, because I'm Poe. And, uh, the more caps, the merrier. Anyway, clean your place up. Looks like garbage in here. I have escaped. Uh, load screens. We hates them. We hates them precious. Alright, let's take a look at the map and see what else is going on here. Wow. Caps and caps, hunt down and kill Mason. Alright. So I haven't found Mag's Black yet. But that's alright. We are on the way. There's nothing else I can do in this game. I'm going to turn off every radio I can find.
I ain't no fan of playing nice with the others. I mean, Jesus Christ, why I gotta do that? That's how you sound, lady. So. That's weird. I had the, um... I could have sworn there was a cappy somewhere around there. Now it's gone. That's very odd. Oh, whatever. Let's go get Mags Black up in this. I am getting all the respect, Operator Scavy. My damn Nuka Cola around here. Nope, just uh, digging through the garbage like a homeless person. You know, keeping busy. I've got one mission in life, and it's to turn off every radio in Nuka World. Until I find out who is making this horrible, horrible music. Alright, McCready, come over here. I've picked up too many grenades. McCready. Um, I seem to have found a lot of grenades, which I will give to you in the, uh, it's a mistake because I know that from having other followers that I gave grenades to that you're going to throw them at the absolute worst times and end up causing your old pal a great deal of pain. I don't really want to go there yet. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go to the parlor. Oh, I see. That's, she's hanging out there. That makes sense. To the parlor! Oh, I just realized I'm very weak. I don't know why I'm very weak, but I'm uh, I'm in a bad way. I need to do something about that. <laughs> oh, they're talking about me. Nice to be a uh, celebrity. Wow, when it comes to not slightly less garbagey places, you guys got slightly less garbagey places. It's lovely.
You guys look horrible. I thought you were supposed to be the rich kids. Why are you dressed like homeless people? Well, hello, Mags Black. Alright, I'll talk to Max. So you guys married or siblings? I am an unknown quantity. It's just one of my many joyous qualities. <laughs> I am Moni McBlack Snake, son. All right, brother. Along with our co-conspirator Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only villain you should be backing around here, because we are the only ones who see this place as it is. You're the only ones. A temple, a testament to the only thing that matters. You're the ones only brave enough where to brave enough to wear checkerboards. I do actually. Hmm. I want to be sarcastic. I also want to know why money is my goal, though. Wow, I'm nailing it with McCready, which is great because I really need him. Yeah. Screw some operators up in this mother flubber. Man, it's nice to be a member the head of this gang, which means I can just break into anywhere I want. Hmm. 
like a big fat hero. I uh, like all the things. I uh, want all your things. It's weird you have a pack automatic rifle. Well, la di da. Let's listen to some more stuff. That makes a lot of sense. She's a witch girl, and she's gone too far, cause you know it don't matter anyway. O V E R S E E S. Could be overseas. Let's try that. Yeah. Let's read about these people. Think about Raves as an age, believes deeply in the power of violence, makes her a dangerous adversary. That says, has a perchance for justice among her own. Stole gain from previous leader by gaining their respect rather than through graft or deception. Irritatingly hard to exploit people like that. Ultimately acts as a stabilizing agent among the disciples. Means Nisha's place in their hierarchy should not be tampered with. Dull, but the right move. Any other disciple in that role would likely lead to utter, utter havoc. Dixie springs to mind. Dixie! True psychopath. Clever, devious, blood breath, thirsty. Suspect she's responsible for the death of at least three operators since our arrival. Very likely more. Takes and treasures souvenirs from her victims. Someone meddling with her toys might be able to get her to do something rash should the need arise. Granted her current position by Nisha probably to support the girl's vanity. Much less likely to turn on her boss if she thinks she's respected. Thanks to that, she does seem to honor Nisha's authority. Doesn't appear to have plans to claim leadership for herself. Best for all of us, if it stays that way. Nisha's enforcer. Fiercely loyal. Likely the only reason the man's been given a place of prominence among their little coven. Had one of our girls attempt to seduce him, see if we might be able to sway him to contact, but to no avail. Had one of my boys try too. Similar result. Suspect he's probably working for with the only person he has eyes for. Would explain the loyalty. Now, let's read about the pack. Current pack alpha. Displaced his two predecessors by tarring and feathering them. Sending them out into the waste. Pack law states members can only shame one another, never kill. Both former alphas were never heard from again after being given the boot. 
Requiring proof of their death could be useful leverage. We'll send out a search party to see what they can turn up. Otherwise, man's more nuisance than threat, like the rest of the pack. Gage, unaffiliated. One half of the alleged masterminds behind the Nuka World plan, clearly as much of a rube as the rest of us, does seem like he honestly believes in Coulter. Now, though, just seems worried he's going to share Coulter's fate if things don't go back on track. Not wrong, undoubtedly moved on this new overboss to protect his own neck. However, man gen genuinely does appear to believe that Nuka World can be used to make us all rich, so it does have some value. And Coulter. Idiot. No one's problem anymore. Alright. Interesting. Let's check out what's going on here. Tonight's production is The Phantom of the Nuka. Phantom of the Nuka. Family lives in the catacombs beneath the bottling plant, longs to find a drink that can satisfy his 300 year old thirst. Due to his horrific appearance and self imposed estrangement from society, his hopes of getting his hands on Nuka Cola seem impossible. Until the plant hires the beautiful Christine, the Phantom is entrapped, enraptured by Christine, and hatches a scheme that he hopes can unite the two of them together to quench his thirst for Nuka Cola before his body dries up and withers away. The best little Nuka house in Boston. Ms. Nona Strangely runs the Nuka House, a soft drink establishment that she built outside of Boston. She wants to serve all the local delicacies Nuka Cola 24 hours a day, but a crusading television reporter who thinks milk is healthier for your body wants to shut her down. It's up to Ms. Strangely and her friends, the local sheriff, to stop the reporter in his tracks before it's too late. A soft drink named Desire Christ. Kim and her husband Tom work at the local Nuka Cola plant. Tim and Kim are respective of coming up with new flavors, but have been stuck for over a month. They don't come up with a new flavor soon. They're afraid they'll both be fired. Enter Vivian, Kim's sister from small town Mississippi. With her southern charm and her bigger than life personality, she moves in with Kim and Tom looking for a better life in the big city. Together, the three of them learn that the best flavor can't come from hard numbers and science. It's all about happiness, togetherness, and friendship. Fizzy Rob. The quantum maker of Sweet Street. God, how do they sleep at night? Oh, the puns. Fizzy runs... Whoops, wrong button. Fizzy runs a drugstore with his assistant, Mrs. Lovett, where he serves delicious and refreshing Nuka Cola. His customers love the place, but they're lounging for new flavors, something eye catching and amazingly bold. In desperation, Fizzy starts sending random ingredients down a chute to Miss Lovett, whose laboratory is in the shop's basement. Lo and behold, after mixing all the ingredients into the cauldron, Miss Lovett is startled to see a beautiful blue glow. Is the star of a taste sensation that will prepare all fizzy shop to new heights? Security staff, we're going to have to ask all the stage technicians to perform janitorial work. That means sweeping, clean dishes, fixing my damage, and cleaning up the main dining area. Before you all come grumbling, remember that you're all lucky to have a job at all. According to Mr. Eckley, the parlor is one of the more expensive attractions of the park with the worst visitor turnaround doing everything I can to keep us open I just need your help yeah who can imagine that the parlor can't stay open with such a great great uh, set of plays Halloween spooktacular coming up next month we need to strike all the best little Nuka house sets and start working on the fan of the Nuka set immediately usually have the sets under construction in the backstage area a month before the show but no one had the time. Looks like we're working after hours this week, folks. Come see me for specific assignments. Now that the best little Nuka house in Boston features all sorts of foot stomping musical numbers, we cannot allow guests to get up on the tables and dance. We've had far too many people slipping and falling. See a guest stand up on any furniture? Kindly ask them to be seated. So the real question is, what was that dude typing about? Holy shit. Hey, 
Hey, Lucas. So much money spent on this place. Just to have some soda. Fun, don't you think? <laughs> You're still for an actual lab. Though it hasn't helped you much. Hmm. I wonder how much of those are just little things that you have to take. Yeah, hard to say. <laughs> Alright, I gotta find Red Eye and murder him. <laughs> this is no... This is getting harder and harder to deal with. so quiet. God, it's so quiet. She has not asked me to volunteer for one of her tests. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of insulting. No, I just did it, because you guys are cowards, and I'm a frickin' hero. Deal with it. And by the way, for Richie McRichingtons, you guys aren't exactly living it up over here. Alright, well, I guess, uh, if I have to team up with one of these gangs, I'm gonna team up with this one. Even though they're the worst dressed, and that's sad at least I know what motivates them money give them money stick with money money's easy I can find money somewhere somehow some way oh my gosh okay so Yeah, I'm not. I guess we'll go talk to Cage now. Because I need to go kill things soon. Like, I've done a lot of talking. A lot of talking and not a lot of murdering. And I kind of need to get on the murdering. Not that I don't enjoy the conversation, but if nothing else, I've picked up about 800 more grenades than I need. So, I need to work on that. Yeah, they're pussy cats. Gage. They'll do what they're told. That's all that matters. Oh boy, okay. Time to roll up your sleeves, Carl. Some work to be done. This place he doesn't is believe me. We need to take them all back. One at a time. A detection you can hear gives us a little more breathing room. More resources. Right. Whoever you hand it off to, 
we were previous. The others might get a little jealous. Take a minute. Set it in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all on you. You want me watching your back? I could have Gage, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Why? What's in it for you? For the love. Don't you need to listen? I'm the one that sold this whole idea to the gang. Kick goes out. It's just your head they're going to want to destroy. And I like my head where it is. So if I can do anything to help keep it there, I'm going to. So, what's it going to be? No. Are you doing this together or not? Uh. No, problem. I got this. Suit yourself. Change your mind. So I can have Gage as a follower now. Alright. Well. All right, so there's five places. I mean, I'm going to get three for the money lovers, two for the pack, and zero for uh, the disciples. <laughs> We'll see what that does. But in the meantime, we sleep. Ah, my new bed and my new digs. And with McCready. No matter how s creepy that is. I'm good for now. All right. So the question one ask ourselves now is What are you doing down here? Whatever. All right. Plans. I got them. Uh Galactic Zone is over there. Dry Rot Gulch is over there. Straight north is Kitty Kingdom. Bottling Plants over there. Safari Ventures way out there, although that was the place I was thinking about going first. Hubaologist Camp is over there. The Hubba. And the Grandchester Mystery Mansion. Not gonna lie, all sounds like fun. Uh, Alright, the people that like money, I'm gonna give them the bottling plant. The Kitty Kingdom. And the Galactic Zone. I will give the uh, other dudes Dry Rock and Safari Adventure. I also get a feeling that we're uh, going into a very different adventure now. So we're going to dress for the job we want. I hear them making fun of me. <sighs> All 
All right, let's go. Lots of adventures to be had. Let's go to Galactic World and get this party started. Ugh. This place looks like shite. Ah. So my phone Let's go look up Tina's log. That said, we're heading out to Galactic Zone again tomorrow. I'm still not sure how I feel about these salvage runs. May see how much of the old tech still works. I wish I could stay and study it all, but Dad's crew is just there to rip it apart and haul it back for scrap. Since like the world didn't have enough rusted metal and broken circuit boards already. At least I only have to take half shifts. I'm looking forward to getting back to my work on Star Control. I just hope the old mainframe is still running. It's all my fault. I told him, I told him there weren't enough cores left to turn on. If he had waited an hour, we could have pulled them from around the zone, gotten star control back up and running. I already had people looking. I could have made it work, but he wouldn't listen. He wouldn't listen. Now, I, God, I hope he's all right. I can hear the screens. We're going to wait for nightfall and then make a run for the gate. Mr. Frothy. All right, obviously, uh, Christ. Obviously, things are horrible here. Luckily, I'm getting ready to make some fucking noise. Ha <laughs> ha! Because I ain't learned shit. Okay, that was a distraction. Holy shit. I just got here, guys. I actually feel like maybe I should switch weapons, because, uh... Hear the Nuka Cola recording.
That was lovely. I mean... Wow, you're glorious, my friend. Of course I do that when I have one damn arrow. Uh, arrow. <laughs> uh. I think I found him. Wow, what a great map. I'm very clear on what's going on now. So, let's go ahead, while we're here, um, drop that, and check the, um, check the uh, contest. Maggie, it's your mother. What are you doing, Maggie? Hidden Cappy Contest Tents. I gotta remember that, because... Walk through the stars and look around. You're happy for Cappy, sure to be found. A great space adventure is waiting for you. And under the starport, a Cappy is too! Got it. I'm not going to do that right now, so I need to... I'm not going to murder these guys yet. But I am going to do these things, so... Ugh. Ugh, good stretching. Crap of a hat, that felt nice. I feel like a lot of robots are coming to life here. Come on, Mr. Frothy. Whoa. I can lie, there's a little more of these than I thought there would be. Because I thought the number of these would be zero, and there's a lot more than zero here. Whew. I won't.
Things are getting shit. Oh, oh this is bad. Sure, I'll handle it. Jesus, there's still stuff over there? Oh, protect a bot guardian, huh? raining let me guess I can't level up after all we're here leveling ups here all of us hanging around together oh might as well just get a little more damage to the interstellar theater. Alright, so the hidden campies are way far away. That's what I don't understand. Like... Never mind. You forget I'm talking to myself because you are useless, McCready. Nuka Cola is here. All the fucking Nuka Cola is here. Alright. There we go. Now I'm gonna go back and see if I can't get that damn Nuka Town USA thing again. 
I'll give it one more go. Because I'm not clear why it suddenly would disappear like that. idea what a fever blossom is but all right so it's inside it's not out here in the outskirts inside and on the right a little ways down let me go ahead and uh, put on the right oh I got the cappy glasses on See, and that's the thing, it just disappears when I get really close to it. Why? Are you cappy? All right, let's. I got one! I got one! <laughs> nice. One down. Like, nine to go or however many anyway I found one and that's exciting Whew, it also means I can take these glasses off now because I don't need the area no more oh yeah oh Jesus alright Now we're going to be sneaky in here. Even though I'm dressed like a giant robot, which makes me sneaky difficult. I'm going to try and sneak anyway. Because it beats the alternative, which is getting murdered. Boy, I'm hearing a lot of racket. May I take your order? Out of reds, here seems ridiculous. Get the guns going. Holy shit!
That was that was a lot of rads. That was way too many goddamn rads. Jesus. Okay, so we uh We gotta be careful, that's all I'm trying to say. There we go. This is all I need to do. <laughs> now we run around the corner and let him handle things. McCready. I mean, I, I feel like McCready asked for that. Gonna wait for him to come around the corner and hack his ass. Well, I could stem pack him. Not gonna, though. Man, that was awesome. Can't believe I forgot I could hack these guys. <laughs> it's a different fight now, isn't it? <laughs> a very different fight. Ooh. Got a little frigidity there. Wow. Get him. Get that frothy chef. What did I tell you, McCready? I said, get the chef, didn't I? What did you do? You did not get the chef. With what? Shit. I fucked that up. Damn. That was a stupid and shitty, and I'm sad about it. Next time. Next time. Oh god, I wonder how far back I've gone. I'm just now coming in, huh? Fuck. Alright, well. Back hurts. Well, then come on and get me, buddy. Teapot. That's weird. Come on. Keep walking this way, buddy. You're getting ready to get hacked.
Wow. This is painful. Nice work, kid. How's it going? Are we winning? Doesn't look like you're winning. Christ. Hi, Star Tender. Now, fucking go and fight the good fight, buddy. Get him! <laughs> you can't fight the star tender, son! He works for me now, bitch! Uh, star tender? I'm gonna say, these guys hurt. God, my leg hurts. Speaking of things hurting. Uh. Fucking laser turrets everywhere. Well, that went well. Fuck it. Thank you, mysterious stranger. It's been a fucking rough day, man. I mean, a lot of it, obviously, I'm doing to myself because I've... Sure, I have a lot of star codes. Um, you can keep your your drugs. I just don't understand what the hell that's about, really. Got it. Yeah, boy! I got your bobby pins, boy! Alright, I'm going to be able to make a badass robot if I uh, ever decide that's the thing I want to do. Nice! Or what? Lot of garbage around here. 
We all look the same. We all something, but we sacrifice like lambs round here. She's slipping through my pants. Shut up. I mean, I mean that as nicely as I can, but shut up. Yeah! Time to make some soda! This is very exciting for me. Uh. Oh, I don't have any Nuka Cola Dark. I can make a Nuka Twin, though. Nuka Side would be great, but I don't have what it takes for that. Nuka Buzz. Nuka Cola's pretty good. I made a soda. I thought I told ya. I'm working fast and I got the gas. You need to know. Uh, there's Insta Mash, yeah. And a door to unlock. So I'm gonna pull out my lock picks cause I can't stop. Yeah. Well, I for one am extremely surprised. Nice work, dude. You reload with the best of them. God damn these laser turrets everywhere. I mean, I'm taking these star cores, I just don't know why. I assume when I find the star thing, it's going to be like, it needs 85 star cores if you're going to make it work again. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Guess if I'd noticed that, I could save myself a lot of trouble. But I didn't. So I saved myself nothing. Yeah. Hey, don't steal my lines, buddy. We are like lions, but we sacrifice like lambs round here. She's slipping through my hands. Round here, we're looking for things. Round here, we're not finding those things. Automatic laser pistol, which is what I'm currently rocking, so. Alright, I guess we're going to ride the elevator. Are you asking where we're going to ride the elevator to? The short answer is adventure. We're riding to adventure.
we've already got the space laser there, friend. So I'm gonna leave your left hand as a twer. look at this even though I don't think wow damn it 74 and a sniper rifle which is useless but this pipe pistol is damage oh it's 38 versus 45 damn well I was excited for a sec Yeah, I don't know why it's getting used by someone else, idiot. Halloween's coming up. I mean, it's sci-fi horror madness month in the theater. Be sure the following hall is loaded and ready for the first show in October. Week one, the beast with a trillion eyes. Death comes stinging. The treacherous slime, the sliminine. Yikes, there's blood everywhere. Nuka monster, Adam bum, the treacherous slime two, slime to die, grr, the sequel. Insects are my baby, my husband the mutant, crime slime three, slime doesn't pay, night of the fishman's revenge. Week four, Nuka Valley Massacre, the bomb strikes at midnight, the treacherous slime four, war slime, Armageddon, no rama. Oh, you lazy jerks, get off your butts and clean the theater after each and every showing. And several of the rocket pods were filled with trash, empty Nuka bottles, oh, and who knows what else. Nuka World doesn't pay you clowns to watch movies all day, they pay you to work. You notice the star tender breaking glasses again. Please let management know. We've spent thousands of dollars on glassware in the last few months. Ever since the genius is running the park, decided to have a robot with no hands mixing drinks. <laughs> and I also recommend not getting it angry, whether you trust this whole star control system or not. AI is still acting a bit aggressive, and we don't want any more accidents. Aha! There's no one here, aha. Alright, let's get out of here. So, like I say, I'm, uh... <laughs> so, Nuka Cola Wild is the sunset sarsaparilla of this world. Good to know. I miss Sunset Sarsaparilla. Best thing to come out of New Vegas. I wonder if it tastes horrible. I bet it does. But it's got a great name. But I'm free. 
<laughs> Cowboys and Indians living the life of Rangers. Well, we've uh, handled this place. Jesus, that stuff's a ah! Come on, stuff's acidic as shit. Star control, find the hinted cappies. Fuck it, let's see. Let's check out star control. Victory, cherry, cola. That's an iBot. Why are you worried about iBots? Can you kill it? Nice work. that need to be done obviously I need to right away and maybe drink a nuke grape and maybe drink another one scary out here for a pimp I don't even want to go that way, so don't know why I am. Shit. Yeah, I don't want to go that way, right? I want to get down to the star child or whatever the fribble frab I'm going. If I want to do that, then I don't. Collector's own manager's key. That's good, I guess. Manager's terminal. Wow, that was cool. Nice big pile of tickets. 
Very sweet. All right, let's see if I can turn off those turrets or anything. Depending over at Starport Nuka, we're experiencing all sorts of minor control malfunctions with the older model robots in the galactic zone. Seeing over some of the incident reports. Nothing serious yet, but Star Control ever loses its connection with those robots. I'm not sure what they'll do. Personally, I think our hardware is too far behind the software to have Star Control run the whole show right now. No, you don't want to hear it, but we really need to shut down the Galactic Zone and do a major overhaul before we have a catastrophic failure. Spinning over in Starport Nuka. Sorry to disturb you directly, Mr. Brad Bitten, but we have a bit of a crisis on our hands over here. Senior Assistant can fill you in on the details if he hasn't already. Realize that Project Cobalt has put a lot of our resources on hold, but if we don't get some help soon, we could get out of control. Star Control was never meant to handle this many robots at one time. We keep being asked to do more in older models of the system. Please approve my requisition for new staff maintenance requests as soon as possible. I'm tired of fixing these robots and getting them to play nice with Star Control. The new system put a strain on their control modules and some of the older models just can't take the extra load. We're behind schedule as it is. Now he wants to chaperone tour groups through Star Control? If you want this stuff fixed quickly, you need to hire more staff or get the bottom of why purchase orders keep getting held up. Look, Penny, I'm about one day away from quitting. If you don't get some real help around here, we got six units offline again today. Fixing each one takes almost our entire shift. Ingrid and I have been putting in 60-hour weeks just to keep things from falling apart around here. Look, Get together, or I'm walking. Huh. Hazmat suit. I have one of those already, thank you. Automatic laser rifle. Wait a second. Just want to see something real quick. Yeah, I'm going to give that to my boy over here. T51E helmet. Just need to uh, get my boy over here, McCready. I need you to shut up, because you're going to start talking, and it's just, let's not do that. Let's just not do that, because when you do that, it's just, it's horrible, and I hate it. I'm sorry there's not a nicer way to say that, but you're just, you're just horrible. But, thing I need's right down there. Oh. Well, let's go down and get it then. Of course, how the hell do I get in this place? Ooh. Don't know, buddy. Just keep trying to figure it out. Anyway. Hi, lady. Let's unlock this. Keep going, McCready. You're doing great. You are a man who is solving problems. And I'm right here with you, buddy. Increase speech challenge success chance. Cool.
Hey, why are you not handling this? I mean, shit. All I ask is for you to kill one robot. But you can't, for some reason. See how I'm killing him with a garbage weapon? I can't even count on you to kill him with a not garbage weapon. This. You know, little slack ass is why we can't have nice things. Are you wielding? You. Never mind. So I'm going to give you this stuff, but I'm also going to give you uh, some lasers so you can actually. Uh, Hopefully. Trying to find the cells. Ah, oh, there they are. I'll give you some cells. So you can use that now. You're not limited to this. And. Huh. Yeah, I gave you some weapons, man. Stop fighting so failure-ish. No. I, just no. Now stop, you big fucking babies. I don't need a Sentry Bot model. I've got a Sentry Bot model. What's a death claw hide doing here? Alright. Gotta figure out a way into this damn place. Ironically, once I find a way into this place, I think I'm gonna stop. But, uh... Gotta get in first. Now what this? Wow. That has a cool looking suit of armor. Alright, let's see what we got going here. Automated robot control. Alright. No star cores detected. Minimum one control cores required to initiate emergency operation mode. Bot secrets aborted. Fuck, let's light this fucker up. I'll install as many as I got. Oh. Damn. I was excited. Well, obviously what I'm doing is running around getting star cores and then installing them to make this place uh, slightly less horrifying. Thanks, buddy. Oh my god, we're not splitting it. I love that you think we're going to split this. That is just adorable. 
Not happening, but it is adorable. Now, obviously, I have to figure out how to get in here. Because that, I want the spacesuit. Alright, so I put some cores in. What do I do now? Okay. Alright, so I need a lot more data cores. Operating instructions. System, term, system telemetry for automated robot control. Star control system developed by Roco Industries. It's a complete solution for corporate clients needing to administer a large number of robots and defensive systems. Star control technology is built on a series of highly redundant interchangeable telemetry modules, star cores. Runtime these cores establish a radio communication interlink between the star control mainframe and the linked robot systems, allowing the mainframe to coordinate their actions and issue commands. Oh, they're in line operating protocols. Individual star cores may be safely replaced during normal operation. If you have a major failure, star control can still boot into a limited functionality emergency mode with at least one star core present. While the system is emerging, all robots and defenses will continue to act on their prior operating instructions. As cores are replaced, a series of emergency protocols will be progressively unlocked as computing resources permit, allowing the user to react to urgent problems under full functionality can be restored. Alright. Finished the install job of the new mainframe today. Mark and I fired it up. Test run after hours seemed to go pretty well. Robco's communication interlink doesn't play nice with older model handies. We've got working concessions. Big surprise there. But I'm still glad we went with their bid over the one for General Atomics. Their director system is a mess. Single points of failure and all. Our star control may be overkill, but at least have some redundancy if something does go wrong. Been almost a month, Star Control is still working perfectly. That never happens. Big install jobs like this are always a disaster. and We've got military-grade robots running around with live weapons. This thing seems like an accident waiting to happen, but so far it works as advertised. Color me impressed. Mark and I have been digging through the control code, and we've verified that the defensive mode protocol admin one seemed to be in place. There's a major emergency of some kind. We've flipped the system into defensive mode and used the robots to secure the park. There's no real way to test it. Let's just hope it never comes to that. Mainframe tours have been a big hit. Luckily, as first we lose our workspace to that ridiculous diorama. Now we have to babysit a bunch of snobby six-year-olds who can't resist pushing all the big glowy buttons. We're going to start integrating the robots at the junkyard into the system this weekend. Not sure if Star Control Interlink will work at that range, but it's worth a shot. Thing keeps surprising me. Took us three days, fame finally broke through the rubble around the north gate, walked right in. No turret, no combat butts, nothing. The only robot I had to put down was that damn Nucatron that kept trying to sell me a ten dollar bottle of Nuka Cherry. Stupid thing wouldn't even take caps. This here is the real price though. Top of the line pre war tech. Still humming along. My girl Tina says the glowy things are redundant, which I guess means can take them. Ought to fetch a good price back in town. Culture's gang took Nuka Town. We got survivors incoming. Had the boys throw up some defenses, but they ain't gonna last long. Told Tia to turn on that defensive mode she told me about. She panicked. Said we'd taken too many cores from the thing. It couldn't handle the reboot. Sent everyone she could to find to strip cores from the other rides. The girl meant well, but with the gang break down next, I gotta do something. What's the worst that could happen? A total of 30 other star cores were detected within range, isolating locations. The Nuka Galax. Okay, so. Connects to only incident with the specified firmware and issues an emergency shutdown order. Overriding all other commands. Once selected, the target can be changed. Alright. Well, I was able to shut down one problem.
Man, star. God, there's gonna be a lot of these fuckers. Star cores at night. Afternoon delight. Alright, this looks like a good spot to stop. Because I say so, I guess, for lack of a better reason. I gotta work tonight, so I need to uh, get myself ready for that horror. That horror show, that's right, it's New Year's Eve. And your old pal Reno's gotta go to work. Instead of making lovely time with lovely people. My life sucks. Thanks for listening. Watch out for snakes.